so friends welcome i would like to welcome you all for today's webinar uh, being hosted by offset printer association considering it as our duty and to keep all the printers busy while sitting at home offset printer association started organizing daily webinars from 11th april 2020 today's webinar is going to be very special one because now people have started working and some of you might already have started the functioning of the area of effect keeping in mind we are host, we are hosting such a seminar how the things are going to be converted and what should a printer do now take full care of your health keep social distance and follow the instructions issued by the government even while working the present lockdown situation has made each one of us redefine our thinking life is certainly going to change once the lockdown is completely lifted and we should spare ourselves to accept the challenges which is going to evolve our period of time it is not the wisest person nor the strongest person but one who is prepared to change with the time circumstances and space is certainly going to survive in the society friends it is estimated that commercial printing which is already affected due to digitization will further going to shrink due to this long lockdown there can be visible shift in printing jobs as we have already noticed the printer engaged in printing a newspaper magazine and books are starting commercial jobs we have seen the big advertisement coming from the newspaper houses inviting printing work on job basis because the circulation of print media which is already shrinking is likely to be suffer very badly due to lack of advertisements i may tell the real misery of the micro and small printer will start when things will come to normal once again after the lockdown is lifted at the one end he will have to search for new customers jobs and on another it may not be practically or economically viable for a micro or small printer to follow the new normals the guidelines which are issued by the ministry of msms for running his printing unit in these pathetic conditions what can be the secret of survival i will not use the word success it is not a secret secret of success it is now the question of what is the secret of survival for these micro and small printers of india we have been telling them two ways either to start producing at a very high capacity join in hand with each other so that they can compete not locally not in their state not in the country but globally which is required the other method is convert since we know packaging is growing and sir packaging will be growing till the population is growing so they can adopt packaging and in packaging label is the prime thing which is growing and uh, which is which if it is likely to grow in the coming times also so through this webinar we are persuading the small and micro printers to convert to change today we have invited the eminent printers who are doing the label who have started with offset now they are in the label line we have invited the machinery persons who are supplying the machines just to tell the printer this is the secret of their survival so not wasting much of time i will now request our moderator who is the head of department printing at avinash lingam university she is phd in computer sciences and a dynamic lady i wish to invite the professor dr t k s lakshmi priya for coordinating today's webinar dr lakshmi priya please thank you kamal ji good morning everybody it's a pleasure to be in this webinar moderating with the leaders in digital printing especially lab label and packaging so today's session we have five eminent speakers 
And the first person would be our senior most person, Mr. Harveer Shani. He is the chairman, Weldon Celloplast Limited, and author of a blog. This is the first printer whom we are seeing to be a bloggist. So, in his early days of the career, he has spent long hours in the laboratory researching and developing new products. So, this is another new talent that we are seeing among the printers. He is basically a chemist by graduation and uh, he has been spending a lot of hours in the laboratory researching. He writes blog titled Self Adhesive Labels Industry in India and the World. And we have a blog spot also. He has been a sportsman. Uh, he has uh, played in various tournaments. He's a debater as well. Such a dynamic person entered into his father's business in 1971. The brand Weldon Inc. was a household name even at the time of India's independence. So let's listen to this multifaceted person, the senior most person on our panel. He is going to talk to us about selecting digital label printing technology. Over to you, sir. Okay. Well, thank you very much, madam. And thank you, Kamalji. And thank you, the team at OP, OPA for inviting me and gave me a chance to speak here. Labels is the very important part of the packaging and it's a phase of products and it's an industry that over the years uh, has been registering a consistent growth in double digits. But of late it has become uh, very competitive. Because I need to say that because Rajiv is there and Ramni is there listening to me. It has become extremely competitive with a lot of uh, uh, printers coming in and, uh, uh, and the reverse auctions and things like that. It's a label is the, makes the product identifiable. If it is not there, you cannot identify your product. Uh, consider two shampoo bottles, put the label off and then you know what it is. It's a marketing tool. On the shelf, shelf, the consumer passing by or, or on a sh uh, shop shelf will pick it up if he likes the label. And it carries statutory information and usage instructions. What used to be uh, typically a glue applied labels, which you printed on any kind of paper and then put the labels uh, by using some kind of a glue, maybe star space, something, and then put it onto the package and all evolved. And in the early 1970s, uh, what was being printed in by screen and called uh, the sticker. The sticker actually started being manufactured uh, on small five-inch narrow web presses coming from Japan and other places. And it became uh, a roll form uh, labels. And that is the time uh, the sticker became a label. And the label industry again evolved into different tangents and which means that there are uh, self adhesive labels, there are still wet glue and uh, glue applied labels, there are wrap around labels, there are shrink labels, and in mold labels. The printing technologies have also evolved, like I said, the flatbed letter press, uh, uh, presses that originally came, became obsolete with time because as uh, demand grew, uh, we went on to rotary letter press, again coming from the far eastern side of the world, and then these evolved into rotary flexo. Now this was the biggest uh, development that happened because flexo over the years has uh, advanced so much with the advanced pre-press. Uh, flexo is now almost 98%, almost comparable to offset. And uh, it's faster, it's full rotary. And today they have gone up to speeds of almost 220 meters per minute in printing. So then it went on to digital, but before digital, already combination had come. The combination press is now in line. You put a reel on one side and you get the finished product on the other side. It's not like flex offset where you move uh, stacks of paper from one machine to another. You put a reel on one side, you have the finished product, finished, decorated, cut, dye, everything in one, uh, in the, on the end of the line. Now, when we go over to the digital part of the labor for which we are here today, the digital uh, again has evolved and, and there are different types of digital technologies. It's, for an entrant, it looks digital is one, it's not one. So digital is like, it's dry toner, which 
uh, evolved first when it was invented by Xerox. If uh, some of you may remember that earlier photocopies were called Xerox. So it's a, it evolved with uh, Xerox and, uh, and that's a technology which Zycon uses. And I think uh, Rajiv will speak more on that because he's a user, he's, he's got a Zycon press. Then came the liquid donor, which was uh, uh, developed by the father of digital printing, what we call is Benny Landa. So people have heard Landa because he's doing now, uh, developing some nanotechnology. But anyhow, Benny Landa developed the uh, liquid donor technology and he called his press Indigo. And he sold that to HP and it became HP Indigo press. Right? And uh, we'll have Ravnik speaking on that because he uses an HP Indigo press. Uh, I, I think he also has a Konica Minota. So anyway, uh, then uh, and then I come straight to the water-based inkjet, which which we sell actually. It's an adaptation of what the inkjet desktop printers that you have in home and office, and it's the same plain simple ink that dries by adsorption. The problem with this, it's a slow process. So to increase to use it, it's now being used in labor also because it's water-based and it does not use UV. And then why UV came in is because the speed and the kind of uh, 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 diverse kind of printings that it can do. UV can run as, as fast as 80 meters per minute. I think Ajay will, uh, Ajay Rao Rane will speak more on this and maybe even Manish can speak or will be speaking on this. So this is how the digital has evolved. So when you're selecting a digital, you've got to look back into uh, what is available. When we say we sell Trojan, which is a water-based inkjet press, but then it may be the cheapest in capital investment, but then it does only CMYK and you need a coated media for that. And even for HP, you need a coated media. But for UV inkjet and dry donor, you don't need a coated media. So every technology has pros and cons. So when you are going into it, you have to study all of them and then finally come to the final conclusion. Uh, now, once having printed on the digital, that's not the end of the story. Then you need to do convert it to finish it. Now, to finish it, you could do it inline. You have two options. You could do it inline or you could do it uh, offline. But because digital is generally referred to as a short run uh, 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 technology so that you can uh, cater to all levels of society. So what you can do is you print on that and you finish it offline and you can do lamination, varnishing, uh, texture varnishing, cold foil, hot foil, embossing, debossing, turn bar and reverse printing, die cutting and waste matrix removal, slitting, rewinding. Again, I mentioned this is all in line, not moving stacks of papers from sheet to sheet. That may have its other advantages, but this is actually saving space, saving manpower. Both of the, these things are a challenge now. Space, real estate is expensive, and manpower, you know, has become even more difficult. Thank you very much. And more you want to need, go on my blog. It's already crossed 306,000 page views from a very focused labor industry. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shaniji. That was a very nice roadmap of history of uh, label printing. And you have highlighted the pros and cons of digital. Obviously, the saving space and manpower benefits of digital would is the need of the hour. Thank you, Sharani ji. Uh, let's go to the second speaker. The second speaker of the day is Mr. Manish Gupta. He is the general manager, P, P and IP, Konica Minolta Business Solutions, India Private Limited, New Delhi. He is basically, and I started his career in the IT field. Then, he has been the brain behind positioning and launching of all production and industrial printing solutions of Konica Minolta in India with his strong business acumen, leadership and entrepreneurial skills. He has made sure to lead the production planning market for Konica Minolta in India with more than 50% market share consistently for the last more than eight years consecutively in India. Let us hear from him, digital printing in labels and packaging. Over to you, Mr. Manish Gupta. Uh, thank you, Vijay Lakshmi ji. Thank, uh, thank you for inviting me to the seminar. Uh, uh, and thank you to Offset Printer Association, uh, Kamalji especially. 
for inviting us to be a part of this seminar uh, on labels and packaging. So I'll be taking you through in terms of the digital printing in labels and packaging. So uh, on this, so I will I will not take too much time uh, on this. So I will share uh, for the benefit of all the uh, people uh, invited uh, about Konica Minolta, uh, benefits of digital technology and uh, what role Konica Minolta plays in labels and packaging field. So about Konica Minolta, it's uh, almost uh, 150 years old company. We started in 1873. Uh, Konica and Minolta were two different organizations. Uh, Konica started in 1873 and Minolta in 1928. So both the organizations uh, merged together and formed one entity, Konica Minolta, in 2003. And that's where, where our uh, production and industrial printing journey started. So we introduced the products uh, in for printing uh, in 2003. So a lot of people know Konica uh, from the films and Minota for the cameras and photocopiers, but uh, we had this, these technologies in printing and imaging uh, much before that. So in India, we started our operations in 2010, where we the directly with uh, the company uh, had the presence in India and Last year, we had an annual turnover of around 700 crores. So India headquarters, we are based out of Gurugram, and our global headquarters is based out of Japan. Uh, we have around 700 plus employees in India, and we have a dedicated sales and service department. And we've been leading the market by around more than 50% market share for consecutively uh, for last so many years. So when we talk about printing, uh, uh, Mr. Sani has shared the processes of printing, but I will talk about printing as a market in terms of what is the opportunity and how big the markets are. Uh, when we when we consume print, there, there are various ways in terms of how we consume print. So one market is office printing, uh, which is the documentations which are being done in offices, uh, small or big. And then we have commercial printing where a lot of our customers and a lot of our products are involved. And the bigger market, we call it industrial print, which constitutes labels and packaging and textiles. So, uh, and if you look at in terms of the digitization ratio in the industrial print market, it is only 2.7% uh, or less than 3%. So when we talk about labels as such, uh, the digitization ratio of customers or label converters using digital printing technologies, we see around 11% packaging is only 1% and textile is approximately 4%. So we have all the technologies in labels, packaging, and textile printing also where Konica Minolta is, has a direct presence in all these three segments. So coming to the scenario in terms of uh, sometimes life, in life everything goes smoothly and sometimes unexpected happens like COVID-19 or the coronavirus. Uh, the important thing, is knowing how to turn problems into opportunities. So that is where I would like to bring everybody's notice that how digital printing can help in terms of uh, make creating more opportunities for the for our fellow printers. So uh, why why digital printing is important in terms of it helps in uh, widening the variation of jobs by using short runs, and a printer can be a complete solution provider. Uh, from right from small runs to large runs and once one stop supplier for all the quantities that they need and it can also be a door opener for new business so currently most of our label converters or uh, packaging customers uh, people involved in packaging industry uh, they are catering to mostly uh, long run jobs and by catering to new short runs so it creates more opportunities for them more jobs for them and they have a better relationship with the customer for all the jobs which the customers may have. Uh, the digital printing also gives the uh, choice in printing on more choice of uh, medias and it also gives the advantage of doing variable and faster turnaround. So as Konica Minolta, we don't stop at printing. So we have solutions in pre-press and post press. I'll take you through in terms of what all solutions that we have in printing for uh, commercial and packaging. We have the world's first uh, digital UV offset press. We call it a Kirojet KM1. It, it takes paper uh, bigger than B2 size 
and does not require any pre-code unlike most of the inkjet technologies. And we can take paper up to 0.06 to 0.6 mm, which is roughly translates to 60 to 600 uh, GSM and can also print on variety of media, including textured surfaces. It prints at fairly good speed, not as comparable to offset, but when we talk about uh, short runs and variable uh, requirements, it prints at around 3,000 3, sheets per hour and can also do auto duplex. Uh, so majority of the prop, uh, challenges come when we are printing on both the sides of the media in offset. Unlike uh, other technologies, we have to print on one side, then uh, again do reprocess for the other side. So in this, we can do auto duplex on this. And the paper feed system is same as offset press. When we talk about label printing, we have a uh, digital solution. We call it Acura Label 230, which is uh, roll fit uh, equipment. And we also have a uh, digital finisher to it. When we talk about short run printing in labels, uh, we don't need any uh, any plates or process, pre-process. So direct after printing and using a digital die cutter, we can immediately finish. So in labels, uh, we don't need any die cutting to finish the jobs uh, and we can do that using a digital process. So various applications can be done uh, for various industries, liquor, beverages, food, household, industrial, cosmetics. So maybe uh, some of our panelists, uh, Ramnik Ji and Rajiv Ji will can share more or because they are the actual users of the digital uh, presses. So digital, it's, uh, the technology is completely digital, no setup time, so there is no uh, preprint cost on those. Uh, it saves time for short runs, so no setup time. Uh, it it gives higher productivity for the employees on this, and they print at fairly good speed, approximately 23 meters per minute, and can also do variable labels. So, uh, variable labels in some of the industries, some of the segments are very important when we talk about uh, putting a serial number or a price tag or a barcode to it. It could be. Uh, variable and for every labels. Uh, we don't stop at printing and we also bring, the, bring some new technologies of uh, putting foil and spot UV digitally and we can also do emboss uh, foil and emboss UV using a digital process. So we have uh, a partnership with a company called MGI in France which uh, is the world leader in this technology and we have these uh, presses for all the segments in terms of uh, sheet fit and we also have it for labels and flexibles to use these technologies to create uh, embellished products which helps in upselling the same products. So I end this uh, my presentation on this so I would say stay safe and thanks for listening. Thank you all. Thank you very much Mr. Gupta. You have spoken about uh, Thank you very much, Mr. Manish Gupta. You have spoken about uh, the market for uh, digital. Uh, commercial and label, you say, have uh, got good uh, percentage of scope. And label is about 11% in the market. Um, and then uh, you spoke about the uh, need for turning uh, problems into opportunities. And uh, digital is a solution. Uh, you have also given us uh, the specifications of Akurio Press and its benefits. Thank you very much. We'll move on to the next speaker, Mr. Rajiv Chatwal. Mr. Rajiv Chatwal is the owner of Quality Offset Printers, Delhi. Quality Offset Printers is a 50-year-old company offering label printing services. They provide exceptional quality and services and they are leading label specialists in India. They cater mainly to FMCG companies and they offer best-in-class machinery and skilled workforce. Their own entire workforce is dedicated to their clients. And their range of expertise is including pre-press to post-press services all under one roof. They provide innovative software, state-of-the-art machinery and finishing solutions. Let us hear from Mr. Rajiv Chatwal how to put a label on it. Begin your digital label manufacturing journey. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lakshmi. Thank you, Kamalji, and thank you, OSA, for in inviting us to this uh, webinar. Our topic today is put a label on it. So as Mr. Sani just said, once you dress up the bottle or any product, so you need a label. 
So you get to know about the product only from the label. Uh, label gives you all the information of the product, all the details, all contents, all nutrient values, and what all the manufacturer of the product wants to uh, brief you as a consumer of the product. So as Dr. Lakshmi has just uh, uh, informed you, we at Quality Officer Printers are label manufacturers and are providing solutions to uh, food, beverage, and health companies. Uh, currently, we at Quality have all three processes, mainly offset, flexo, and digital. We do 100% labels on all three processes, mm -hmm. and mainly on the offset, we do wet blue labels, and flexo and digital are mainly self adhesive labels. So in today's session, we would like to emphasize on how a commercial printer or an existing label packaging printer can enter the digital market. Uh, all printers today want to enter the digital market, but are, it's a very decision which is not easy to take. We also entered the digital market around two, two and a half years back. Mm. And really it was a very difficult decision for us to take in terms of uh, technologies to adopt, what kind of machines to buy, and we will discuss it later in this uh, presentation also. So first I would uh, like to say to my fellow printers is, you need to uh, decide and you need to think it over, why do you want to go digital? So this is a very important thing, all printers who want to enter the digital market, most of the things you would be aware of, in terms of digital and flexo. See, in digital, there are a lot of advantages, like you need less stock raw materials. In flexo, you need a higher volume of raw materials. Digital will give you a very low, a very, uh, the print cost is higher in terms of the consumables, whereas the flexo print cost is lower in terms of consumables. Digital, I would say, still is a less expensive investment in terms of flexo or other technologies as you, uh, as you would uh, require less manpower. And um, in terms of flexo, you have more investments to make in terms of cylinders, dies, tools. Uh, digital, you, all of you know, you don't have plates. You can do a lot many SKUs without plates. Short runs, again, are a benefit here. In terms of flexo, the short runs become very expensive when you're investing on dies, you are investing on plates, mm. and you're doing very small runs, it becomes really very expensive. So again, digital uh, caters to a market very fast. Flexo turnaround time is much more than uh, digital's. Uh, digital does has limitation on the Pantone shades or special shades, metallic shades, which we can very well do on the Flexo technology these days. Uh, again, digital, we, it's not only about investing on a digital machine, you need to have good finishing equipment also. So the label is only complete once you invest into a finishing, good finishing technology. So as just Manish explained, you need a lot of embellishments to do on the labels like foil stamping, embossing, various other things, which is very important as customers who would give you orders on a digital machine would really want to uh, have very good embellishments. So next I would like to discuss with you is which digital technology to choose. So there are uh, mainly three digital technologies which are more popular in the market. Uh, it's a dry type toner technology, a liquid electro technology and an inkjet technology. Uh, as a label printer, it's a very dif difficult decision to take on which technology to choose. Uh, I would like to share my experience when we were uh, investing into our digital machine. We did a lot of uh, uh, proof runs, we sent our files to a lot of manufacturers. We got proofs from them. And we sat down with our team. We sat down with our customers. We showed them all three technologies. 
got a lot of feedback from our customers, from our production team. And only we decided on which technology to do. So you have to basically see what kind of jobs you are doing, what kind of customers you have, and you need to discuss with your customers what your customers want. This is very important here. So all three technologies are good. Again, you have to go back to your customers, see what kind of jobs you are doing, and then only decide on uh, um, the technology you would like to go. Uh, simply saying, like uh, Electra, you, if you're doing cosmetic labels, industrial labels, inkjet is more suitable. If you're doing liquor labels, food labels, pharma labels, I would say dry technology is a much better solution. Uh, this is my opinion, but you need to decide on it. Uh, since you have to go back, see what kind of volumes you are doing, what kind of uh, jobs you are doing, what kind of market you need to cater to in future also. And ideally, combination of both options is the real thing. Uh, uh, so you need a passion to go into digital, learn something new, and then only you'll be successful. So again, going back, once you want to decide on what technology you want to uh, go into, just do a lot of sampling with all the machine suppliers. They are ready to give free samplings. They will give you costings. They will give you the toner consumptions. You can just uh, go to them, do your sampling, study on the costs, and you will have a better solution. Uh, you can compare the solutions, speak to your customers again, and you will get more confidence into how you can go ahead with the digital technology. Uh, again, you can do a comparative cost analysis also. Uh, the machine suppliers mostly give you samples along with the cost analysis also. Uh, they can give you the toner consumptions also, uh, which will help you. Um, again, here I would like to say, do emphasize with your suppliers and do uh, tell them to let you know what is the consumer cost also there because there are a lot of uh, other costs than the toner cost or the ink cost involved so you should be very well aware of the kind of costs involved so that uh, the uh, the costings you are going into should have the consumer cost also so because there are these are also a bit high so you need to also decide whether you want a, a digital machine and a finishing machine separate or you can go for a hybrid uh, technology also which is very popular these days you can have a digital machine combination of a, a hybrid uh, the finishing machine which is known as a hybrid technology now means a digital uh, machine or finishing machine combine it's a hybrid technology so so I would again say focus on your end goal, what you want, speak to your customers. It is very important because the kind of customers you are, you, 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 you are dealing with currently, you need to speak to them that if you want to enter the digital market, you need to speak to your customers and then focus correctly on the technology you want. That will help you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You gave us a very nice insight of digital versus flexo. Uh, and that's the need of the our people need to know how uh, to compare and why to go digital. And then you also told us the uh, uh, need for the choice of which digital technology uh, to be chosen among the dry toner, liquid electro ink and inkjet. You also told the need for getting samples and then talking to the customers and finding out what kind of job. Obviously, a research, a small research is required before we venture into new uh, jobs. Thank you very much, sir. We'll go on to the next speaker. Mr. Ajay Rao Rane. Mr. Ajay Rao Rane is the Assistant Vice President Digital Printing Solutions at Domino Print Tech India, Mumbai. He is a science graduate from Mumbai University. He has completed his general management program from IIM Bangalore. His expertise lies in the area of business operations, business development, etc. He is serving digital printing industry since 2008 
by evangelizing the benefits of digital printing to labels and packaging converters and brand owners. At Domino India, he is overall responsible for digital printing business. It caters to labels and packaging convert converters. He has worked with companies like HP, Indigo, 3M, Avery Denison, etc. Let's hear from him the digital printing for business growth. Over to you, Mr. Rani. Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is uh, taking good care of themselves during this lockdown or the quarantine period. Uh, thank you, Kamalchi. Thank you, OPA members, uh, for giving us the opportunity to talk to all your esteemed members and the participants about uh, digital printing. So we are talking about the opportunities with digital printing, the domino way. So the world around us is changing, this time driven by the pandemic. New rules and maybe a new game will find its way. Uh, whenever we talk to anybody uh, during this uh, past 50, 55 days, all the printers are sharing this, yeah, we have this problem, we have this problem, we might face this problem. But nobody's thinking of doing something different, looking at a different perspective. And definitely people would have challenges of uh, manpower, labor, people would have challenges of cost. And I believe digital printing uh, can offer a solution for commercial printers to come into labels and packaging or to improve their existing uh, situation into the commercial business by doing something different, by doing variable printing or different applications. So talking about Domino, uh, Domino is a 40 year old company uh, headquartered in Cambridge and uh, we are in India operating since 1978. Primary technology that we offer is Injet. We have core experience uh, in Injet. Uh, we cater to the market by two uh, business units, one is the coding and marketing which caters to all the manufacturing sites, like all, all your pharma companies, your food, uh, your food companies, or anyone who wants to put any code, any batch code, any expiry date, would use uh, this kind of technologies. The other is the digital printing technology, which caters to printers like you, be it commercial printers, be it book printers, and uh, people into the labels and packaging uh, segment. So when we talk to people about digital printing, Manish has mentioned about digital printing uh, at the beginning of uh, uh, Sani has mentioned about digital printing, then Takeji has mentioned about digital printing. What I see is it's about doing short runs, value stream mapping, improving your uh, profitability, improving your production, everything. But one thing which I would like to say is the technology progress. Your business needs to progress with uh, newer and newer technologies which can improve your productivity, it can optimize your operations and most important is it will allow you to make more money and have peace of mind. But it's not the standard way of doing business where we say digital printing is faster or it is just a tool to reduce your cost or losses on existing short run jobs where people look for digital printing or it is not a magical technique that will work on all printing substitutes and material. But digital printing is complementary to your conventional business like how Rajiv ji mentioned. Uh, it is a powerful way of adding value. It can, you can do a lot of uh, variable information. You can add variable imaging to it. Multi-discipline challenges can be addressed in your business. Now immediately after the lockdown, most of the printers, small or big, are going to face problem about labor. Most of the print, uh, printers are going to uh, face problem about cash flow. Most of the uh, printers are facing at the cost which they have to incur in, uh, by following the new new norms of social distancing and other things. I think in some way digital printing can help in all this. Digital printing is a disruptive technology. Many of the packaging printers have adopted digital printing technology in India. Uh, the technology helps them to add value to the brands. We have seen many campaigns where uh, variable imaging is being printed. There are people who print variable information. There are people who print extremely short run jobs and they are able to cater to the customers. During this pandemic or during this COVID-19, there were many customers who were running digital printing technologies uh, they were not uh, under lockdown because they were catering to the essential uh, sectors, be it pharma market, be it food market, and they were able to cater to their end customer requirements at a faster time. Right? 
Uh, during uh, for cosmetic labels for other uh, food packaging labels, you can do differentiation on the shelf space because every brand is competing at the shelf space. Now, uh, what is Domino has to offer to printers? Printers from commercial printers or can printers into packaging segment? We call all, all our machines as money-making machines. They help customers to make money. They help customers to reduce their wastages. They help customers to optimize. End of the day, the objective is to earn money and to gain profits. So when we talk about digital printing, we start with a small compact bar we call as a K-series bar, which, which can do different applications. These are solutions which are used for uh, black mono printing, where you can do variable informations like uh, barcode, QR codes, and variable things. You can print security information with invisible ink. We have solutions for uh, digital varnish, digital spot varnish. It adds value to your labels and packaging. Uh, we can do digital code foil. It can be all variable through all your labels. We have higher productivity uh, monochrome solutions, which are being used to print uh, variable information at 150 meters per minute. We have uh, deployed solutions, which can print uh, monochrome books at 150 meters uh, per minute. We have digital white, where we are to do embellishments or where we are to add value to your clear on clear labels, flame labels. And with adding more colors to it, we offer an N-series press, which is a full seven color digital printing press to labels and packaging customers. This is the uh, Domino N610i. Now, when we talk about uh, the press, it can print up to 70 meters per minute, or we can say from the productivity perspective, 1400 square meters an hour. As digital uh, says, as Manish would have said, as uh, uh, said by earlier speaker, you don't need plates, no cylinders, so you, you can change the design at the last moment or any moment. Minimal setup time, so faster time to market. Minimal setup waste. It saves cost, improves profitability for you. Most important thing is efficient. One person can operate the entire press. Many of the digital printers who are operating during the COVID times, uh, they were having restrictions of getting people to the factory and we have seen digital press owners were running with one, one operator. That's a boon to uh, the printing and, uh, and the packaging fraternity to have digital printing press and uh, bring up the efficient operations. It can print labels, sewing so sleeves, in more labels, uh, folding cartons, laminated tubes, and some of the uh, specialty applications as well. Right. So this is uh, from a N-series perspective, a color press that uh, we can offer to customers to get into digital. But then, as I said, it's not only about uh, coming to packaging. Packaging is going to grow and it is growing because everything that you are going to consume or are consuming is packed. But even commercial printers can increase their business by doing some, uh, by, by doing value addition to the existing uh, setup. They can do uh, variable data printing. There is a lot of demand for variable data printing in India. A lot of uh, companies are coming into promotional uh, campaigns. So we have a solution called the K600i mm -hmm. that can be integrated onto a sheet fed or web fed transport. It can print up to 150 meters at 600 dpi. Again, uh, it can print on variety of materials. It can print on label tags. It can print on tickets, everything. So there are a couple of systems installed in India and customers are enjoying the benefits of this system. One thing, yes, this seminar is about uh, packaging and things, but I would like to say, uh, sorry, these are some of the applications which are into the, uh, can be done by variable imprinting. All, all the things you can see here, everything is variable and that can be printed by the Domino K600i. The other application which I wanted to talk to you about was a lot of commercial printers who are into book printing and using the conventional setup to do short, the short run jobs. We have a solution which is a Domino K630i that's a single engine duplex printing uh, system and print in uh, 17 inch in wide or uh, 20 inch wide systems, 600 by 600 DPI, pigment based things. The productivity is 2000 A4 size impressions per minute in duplex mode. It can be used by transactional printing or by book printing uh, converters. How Domino can help you in venturing into digital or explore the digital market? Together, we can work with you to understand your job structure. We analyze, we discuss, we do sampling, costings, and we can do a complete TCO analysis with you for all the systems, be it a color press, 
be it a monochrome device or a book printing device. Like how Rajivji mentioned, talk to your uh, solution providers, get samples, understand the costings, commercial, consumables, everything. We, we are there to share everything in details with you and so that you can take a very informed uh, decision. Now, thing is, yes, as a lot of things are changing, there are new normals that are going to come. And it's not the way that uh, printers are going to say we are having challenges, we don't get labor, uh, we have cost challenges, we have to uh, conserve our cash, we have to reduce cost. But if you are going to do the same thing what you have been doing for past so many years, you're going to get the same results. You need to explore, you need to venture out, you need to learn. You, you need to talk to different uh, solution providers who are going, going to offer you solutions to make your business efficient and profitable. If you need anything, definitely I can answer your question during the session so you can reach out to me on my email or my uh, telephone number. Thank you very much. Thank you for a patient listening. Thank you. Thank you, Raneji. So you spoke about why digital printing and you highlighted the need for going into technology, adopting the new technology. You also told us about the concept that digital is being complementing the other printing technologies. Uh, and there was a query in our uh, participant list, is it going to be a threat to the conventional uh, printing? And your slide answered that digital is a complementary uh, technology. But you also said it is disruptive. Very true, we have to decide. And uh, the further in your talk, you, you told us about the different uh, range of products that uh, Domino offers and uh, the point that you would help the uh, printers in their total cost of ownership analysis. And you have also advised them to be more proactive, know what they want and do accordingly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On to the last speaker, the youngest in the series, Mr. Ramnik Hauro. He is the manager for our center, Noida. It's a renowned company providing a variety of comprehensive designing, repress, and printing services to various industrial verticals, and it has been established in 1990. They have a complete range, including digital offset, flexography, and screen printing. Some of the highlights of Hara Art Center are cost-effective range of products, innovative and eye-catching range, quality as per international standards, an own manufacturing unit with modern machines, customized production facility, qualified and experienced designers and professional reach to both domestic and international marketplace. Let's, let's hear from Ramnik the opportunities in digital technology. Over to you, Ramnik. Uh, very good, thank you all. Um, thank you so much, Lakshman, for that introduction. And, uh, I'd like to start by thanking Mr. Kamal Chopra ji and uh, the Offset Printers Association and everyone who's attending this webinar for like, giving me this opportunity. Uh, uh, so, like, if you uh, like now before like talking about the opportunities of digital digital printing, let's just understand what digital printing exactly is. So, a uh, basic definition of digital printing would be a digital based image, uh, like printing a digital based image to a variety of substrates. That's a very basic advantage. But uh, if I give you a very small example, like just like a printer we have at our home, we press command and it prints. So it's that easy. Now imagine that concept with in a one room machine. So imagine the flexibility and the capability it gives us uh, to cater to our customers. So uh, that is basically what digital printing is. And uh, to understand more about it, let's just see how wide the horizon of digital printing is. So uh, just I'll just share the screen here. Uh, just, yeah, perfect. So uh, I'll be talking about the opportunities in digital printing. Uh, so first is variable data printing, obviously. So what is variable data printing? So it is. Uh, so if you have a different design and if you want to print it again, like if you want to print it differently, so uh, that leads to personalization. And what is exactly personalization? So personalization nowadays is in trend. Like whether you see an example of Coke, whether you see uh, another example. So uh, that is personalization and it like you can print each and every design differently. So each and every print of yours can be different. Each and every shrink, each and every label, each and every monocarton of yours can be different. Now, uh, like a very small example of it, which I really personally like is a project by HP, uh, like which they're running during this pandemic. 
so uh, in hospitals uh, the doctors are really confused uh, after wearing the ppe kits because they cannot differentiate between each other after wearing because they all look the same so hp ran a project with them and they provided them with personalized stickers personalized name tags actually and uh, like that actually improved the situation for them so that is a very small example but that is how uh, like we know that personalization is something variable data printing is something which can actually be used in each and every industry so that is like how it can be used now then we talk about consistency so uh, every drop of ink is controlled by the software in digital printing it's controlled by software till it reaches the media it means that there is a very minimum human involvement involved in it so like there are very least chances of errors in this so even if you print your design uh, like design after 5 years it will still be the same so that is the consistency of uh, your digital machinery then uh, when we talk about all media so like as printers it gives us the flexibility to cater to all kind of customers so like what does that mean basically we can do string sleeves on it we can do labels on it we can do mono cartons pouches etc etc so that is the capability of a digital printing machine and it actually helps us become a one point printing solution for all our customers which is i think the like the need for the customer in nowadays uh then we talk about the point sustainability i think uh sustainability uh, as a point is now like is nowadays taken seriously after the corona virus pandemic because nature has actually shown us that if we don't take the nature seriously it can actually hit us and it can actually hit us very hard so when we talk about digital printing we use eco friendly inks in it which is ve like very very easy to dispose of and uh, like it doesn't like at all affect the quality of ground water then there is there are very like uh, like low energy there is very low energy consumption obviously and like very least carbon carbon emissions involved then uh, like this point i really like that uh, less packaging waste now uh, there is a very statistics i like to share with you that 60% of waste in the ocean is packaging waste now where is it coming from it's coming from the people who are stocking their stock just to save their packaging cost so like when people buy a larger quantity from us just to save a like cost on their packaging for us it's just a label but for them it's a whole product so like for for that they'll have to like the stock is left and for that they like they need to uh, they need to like change it and uh, this is something which i personally like want to uh, like work on sustainability when it comes to digital printing and this is again uh, like this is again leading to the point of inventory management which i've talked about smaller quantity so when people are buying in smaller quantity there will be least packaging waste with them then uh, the speed of the machine the change over time as like everyone has talked about the change over time is like barely anything and uh, the time delivery in this because uh, like it gives like it makes us capable to deliver to our customers in one or two days actually like we like if we've actually catered to our customers in this on the same day of their order so that is the capability of this machine then there is a design change so uh, hello hello can you we can me? hear you yeah please go on it was uh, so so yeah so uh, then we come to design change aspect of inventory management so like uh, nowadays the uh, customers actually are changing their designs almost every month because of the legalities involved because of the changes in the like uh, market it might be festival related it might be anything so that is uh, like if we talk about uh, design change in uh, flexo offset or roto gravure we all know that how hard it is like we and we all know how uh, how much time and how much money is spent if we are thinking if the customer has to think about design change so in that case digital printing comes into the picture and it actually comes with a great solution so uh, in this you can change your design tomorrow you can change your design today itself and there'll be no, there'll be no problem uh last but not the least this point i really like is that the manpower of this machine is just one or two people and the productivity of this machine we all know what the productivity of this machine is so compare comparatively how much this machine adds to your company it's it's huge it's like it's genuinely uh it's it's genuinely surprising so uh this is this these were some opportunities of digital printing which i shared with you guys and uh, 
this actually uh, tells us that digital printing, like not only right now, but had has a great potential in for the, in the future. So uh, I'll uh, share a small uh, statistics with you also that uh, like I was reading a report last night and it showed that the digital printing market right now is valued at around $22 billion and in 2025 it's expected to value at $32 billion with a growth rate of 5.7%. So imagine the potential in this market. So this map I'm showing you, this map shows that this region which you're seeing, the Asia Pacific region, this has the greatest potential in the next five years if you're like if you want to enter the market. So right now will be the time for us to enter the market. So this was uh, one thing uh, about the digital printing. And uh, so I'll give you one example of mine that uh, when I joined the business, I started going to meetings. I started uh, going to get orders. And I, when I started that, I uh, realized that it was the digital printing technology as a concept was like really easy to sell to the customers because when I was selling them, I, I, I got to know that the uh, it actually totally fit to the customer needs and um, that is what the customer requires right now. He wants fast delivery, he wants uh, design change, he wants that flexibility at his end. So that is something which I really learned and uh, then uh, the convenience it provides to the customer, it's genuinely surprising. So because in the past, the, uh, the customers had to mold according to the suppliers, but like it's totally, the market has totally changed and it's totally the other way around now. So uh, the, the younger generation, the startups, the multinationals, all of them, like all of them want the supplier to provide the convenience at their end. And if we don't, they'll genuinely like, they'll genuinely just move to another, another supplier. So like the only thing matters nowadays is the service we provide them and like, the customer like provide to our customers and like because this actually builds a foundation for a longer term association with them and this can be like obviously it can be done with other technologies but digital technology can do it the most so uh, like that was actually all i'd like to end by uh, sharing a very small story with you guys that uh, before this presentation actually i was sitting with my dad and i was talking to him like how uh, how how were you i want to talk about your business i want to talk about you so like just tell me something how you survived in these 30 years in the introduction also ma'am said that we established since 1990 so i asked him papa you're like you're there since 30 years how is that possible like how how did you survive what was the reason so he, he actually just gave a statement and he actually ended it at that he said that बेटा हमें ना वक्त के साथ बदलना पड़ा अगर हम नहीं बदलते तो हमें नहीं पता कि वक्त हमें कब पीछे छोड़ जाता and that actually helped me because like this was a knowledge which anyone someone gets in a business school and like I was surprised that my father knew that that if we don't respect time and if we don't respect time in this market the market won't wait for you so like that was all thank you so much that was a wonderful presentation Thank you. Okay. So Ramnik, with just one slide, you were able to summarize the benefits of digital printing. You started off with the need for personalization and said that digital could do it. And you also quoted an example. And the other of the other different uh, benefits of digital, you highlighted sub sustainability. That was new. And I think the younger generation is impacted by eco-friendliness rather than all the older generation. And you have touched up upon this. You also mentioned that 60% of the waste or leftovers due to packaging, printing, label, etc. are uh, now um, forming a heap in the global area, which is a threat to the uh, eco ecosystem. So we need to be responsible and we need to be conscious and try to reduce and digital is one option which can help us in that. You also mentioned that digital is going to grow at the rate of 5 to 8% and that's the forecast. And then one thing is, uh, we have had a number of young generation printers on our OPA webinar series and we never had anybody on the marketing side. Thanks, you are the first person in this younger generation joining us on the uh, OPA webinar who touches upon uh, marketing. We had people in uh, management, on production, as well as uh, quality. Uh, now we understand that our uh, printing industry in India has a wide range of young generation people across different uh, departments in the printing industry. I would recommend all printers to bring their children 
uh, to bring their young ones on to the printing industry be a proud printer and then that you have discussed with your father to come over before you presented here is also a good thing thank you very much for your presentation that was wonderful and congratulations so we have from mr girish sinde he says please specify short and long run jobs so um, so uh, short and long long running jobs i think the printers will be able to tell it it actually varies from uh, printer to printer uh, one printer may think a 5000 labels is short run uh, another printer may say no uh, uh, 10000 is short run so and more than that is a long run so i think both the printers here rajiv and uh, ramni can answer this it will depend on various factors depends upon the size of the label also maybe a, a 500 meter job is also a short run and some printers may think 1000 meters is also a long run so it's very difficult to answer this uh, still i would say on basis of cost i would say uh, anything less than 1000 meter would be a short run anything above 1000 meters would be better to do on a flexo machine uh, let's uh, hear about ramnik's experience also so uh, i had uh, like i'd be like, i'd be totally agreeing with you sir but like i just uh, like i like to add one point here that uh, i was uh, going through the websites in uh, like countries outside india and uh, there they work on a system called web to print and uh, what that is there is that uh, you can just go on the their website of the printer and you can just actually order one label so how is that done so that is done on digital printing only but they it comes with a cost it comes with a great cost if you like if a label can cost you around 100 rupees also uh, like a, a single label can cost you around 100 rupees also and that is like totally depending on the printer if he is willing to do it or not so like i personally was also thinking to start this that uh, like to cater to customers who are like also requiring one label and i'll be like i'll be happy to provide them but obviously i'll be charging the cost with it so like that is one thing but obviously so said it correctly that shorten labels apart from that can be around 1000 labels but it totally depends on the size of the label yeah so that's what i answered i would suggest anything less than 1000 meters we find it more practical to do in the digital now yeah so above 1000 meters you can have a benchmark again printer can calculate himself also because every job there are a lot of uh, variations in different kind of jobs like you need to see the toner consumption also so that comes with experience but as a, a ball mark figure 1000 meters in each you can do it on digital 1000 meters above you can take it on your flexo machine that's good absolutely the next question is from pankaj kumar he is asking mr manish i would request you please share the ppt Uh, uh i will share with uh, kabal ji and uh, opa my presentations uh, and i believe so in terms of probably he is creating a pool of all the presentations the next question is lakshmidhar bharik i want to ask why the domino and other inkjet printer has failed in rub test on hdpe or pp bottle when we print batch details on it please clear which ink has to go for this packaging Uh, for this, it, uh, I only manage the digital printing business. Uh, as we said, we have a coding and marking business. Definitely, they can uh, send the queries to on my email address. I can address it to the right people who can revert back to them. Next, Mr. Manoj. Digital printing only prints on uh, flat surfaces, label stock, label materials. Yeah. I think if, what what happens is that if you are printing on a varnish surface or a, you have a silicon varnish or that kind of a varnish or a UV varnish that may not uh, uh, let the ink adhere so well. So either you coat or, or print on an uncoated surface and then varnish it, then it works well. The next question is from Mr. Manoj Mehta. He is asking, considering quantity today. do you see digital will take over conventional in major way um uh, i'd like to answer that i don't think a uh, convention like digital would ever take over the conventional method because right now uh, in india or like in countries outside also people when it comes to larger quantities have their mentality to go to flex up because of the cost and if you have a large quantity we like we as printers also would suggest you to go to flexo or go to rotogravure 
because like uh, if a, a customer comes to us and he's requiring a lakh labels so we won't obviously tell him that go to digital because the cost for like cost for going digital for us would be also higher and we won't be like he would be also not be like feasible with that cost in future it will depend upon the toner cost also if the toner cost mm-hmm. get reduced right substantially yeah. print heads consumable uh, maybe a printer's 50% business can be taken over by digital but hmm. difficult to answer right now but i think uh, more and more machines more and more volumes the toner cost should come down yeah. hmm. the next one do you see better to buy digital machinery on wet lease rather than buying it as technology getting obsolete very fast manish um like all the printers oem also provide these uh, in terms of that they also have their own expenses uh, so far in india we have uh, that in terms of lease uh, now the government has come up with lot of schemes for supporting uh, msmes and the manufacturing and service sector i believe so it's easily uh, more easily available uh, so far in terms of from konica minota we don't provide those leasing facilities yes uh, i think uh, buying on lease is possible but it all depends on the uh, paperwork and the documentation uh, that the printers would submit actually because uh, at least a european manufacturer would supply i mean uh, i'm not talking of indian manufacturer or indian based companies but our principles are mostly in europe and one, once we ask them to supply on let's say lease or use and lcs or thing like that they naturally want the balance sheets and uh, credit ratings and all so once they get a credit guarantee that is possible the next question is which machine can be used to print on aluminum foil flexo is possible gravure is possible with uv inkjet it's possible there are customers who are printing this Yeah. even water based inkjet possible but it has to be pre coated because that uh, water based inkjet uh, dries by absorption and not by uv is by curing by uv light but here water based is by absorption so you need a coating that will absorb the ink and dry instantly next question can packaging boards are print digitally how many colors are feasible to print digitally on mono carton uh so far packaging boards uh, can be printed digitally uh, uh using uh, digital process so on uh, using uv inks uh, we can print on packaging boards so currently uh, we have a four color cmyk process but we have an extended color gamut and we can emulate much bigger color gamut than by using or or instead of using additional colors and there are the other technologies where additional colors are also available but uh, adding more colors that adds up to the costs can digital press print on uv embossed film label stock if, if they are talking about the uh, the lens of uh, material with an imark uh, printed uh, prior to the digital print it is possible it is possible to register uh, with the help of an imark and it is absolutely possible to print on digital what's the difference in print cost in digital and nano size in four color 28 by 40 uh, currently in terms of the maximum size that we can print is around uh, 23 by 29 that's a digital uh, one where Uh, inks we provide on a a la carte basis those are depend depending depending upon the coverage area that costs could vary so a normal uh, standard is uh, when we consider a commercial offset uh, we consider around 1 ml which is roughly around 4 uh, and a half to 5 rupees a sheet this question is for mr ramnik can you please narrate more clear, clearly the sustainability aspect in perspective of less packaging waste oh uh, ma'am sorry 
so uh, when i was talking about less packaging waste i was talking about people ordering smaller quantities basically customers buying what they require so create in their mind because uh, if we pitch to them that so only buy that much what you require right now because uh, they also don't like people right now like i don't think like that's my personal opinion that people right now are do not care about environment that much but they care about business much, like more so that is why i personally think that people should uh, like only buy what they require because if they buy extra then that is left stock and that left stock is like totally like that what what do you with what do you do with left stock you actually have to throw it and then that waste gets into like it might not go into the ocean but it's actually harming the environment so uh, like harming the environment in some of the other way it's bad and if it can be stopped or it can be like an impact can be created from our side i think it should be done so like a digital uh, like digital technology is giving us that uh, upper hand on this uh, on this thing and when we can do something for the environment so i think this is something which we all should do so The next question is: Can we do foiling raised grain mat mat effect on digital? Ah uh, yes, we can do uh, these effects uh, using digital on digital prints and uh, any other commercial prints also using MGI technology and uh, the various other effects is we can do uh, foil on foil or uh, embossed foil or embossed UV using these technologies. So digital technologies. like this in uh, like i mentioned in my presentation we can do digital foil and digital varnish and it can be completely variable as possible the next uh, question is to all panelists do you foresee market investing in digital technologies post crisis if yes how do you propose to build business when we all believe customer will not pay premium for digital jobs i think that digital uh, when you talk about digital after the this corona virus thing ends i think at that time digital would not be um, a thing which will be a liability but it would be an asset it will it will genuinely act as an asset because um, right now personally we we're, we're actually uh, catering to sanitizer companies pharmaceutical companies who uh, who are just requiring 1000 labels 2000 labels 5000 labels and those and uh, if you talk about startups also if you talk about companies after corona virus how will they function i think people will be much more escalated towards a smaller quantity demand wherein digital will digital might be uh, they might be acting as an asset rather than a liability so uh, if and uh, how he would like to go for the investment uh, that i think uh, anyone else if it, if, he, if they can answer because they they much experience but obviously it won't be acting as a liability it, can it might be like acting as a and as an asset see so for what the plant is in terms of the customer needs a label it is up to the printing uh, up to the converter or the printer to decide on the process of printing so there are various ways in terms of like flexo and digital either of the process depending upon the quantity run length variability uh, the printer can choose the the process of printing and what we see is in terms of digital to play more role in terms of with the shorter run lengths and uh, with the changing quantities changing prints we see digital to have more relevance or bit or uh, more relevance for the printers to get into their complete process of printing in this uh, post lockdown yeah sorry ajay abuli yes yes i i would like to say yes. digital is not uh, nothing to do with covid like it's a need based more need based like it depends upon what customer wants and how the uh, printer needs to do the job whether covid or no covid it has no relevance with whether to do the job on digital or flexo so i think it's more need based now depends depends upon the job the need of the customer uh, mainly mainly on the need about the need of the customer only is i agree with uh, rajiv ji what is it is need of the customer and today if many printers who face that the migrant labels have uh, gone back they won't get labels or they want to be uh, make their uh, entire operations more efficient uh, 
uh, printing press can be operated by one single operator rather than a couple of them. Uh, yeah, they will look at uh, digital investments and everybody will uh, do the ROI calculations with based on whatever technology they want to go. And yes, when they see, see the business, when they see the viability, they will definitely invest. See, need and, uh, uh, and, and the quantity are two different things. Uh, eventually, it will be the urgency with which the printer comes or with the customer comes. When there are times when the customer comes and he wants the labels like yesterday. And that is a time you cannot go on to flex or other processes because there's a lot of pre-press involved, there's a lot of dyes required, things like that required. Today, uh, we at Weldon, we offer even laser die cutting finishing machines from Italy, from Cartes. So there, what you can do is you print and you don't need a die, you don't need anything. You just print from with digital and then finish it off. That's it. So it's actually, I would say urgency and urgency customers will always be there. Always somebody who wants it like not now, who he wants it like what the day's gone back. So, so it digital will always be there, and it will coexist with all the other kind of uh, printing technologies. We have with us Mr. Patel Dhumal. He wants to ask some question about. He wants to start the digital label printing. So he wants to ask how he can start. Mr. Ajay, we are listening. I want to know about I want to start up a, a digital label printing. So can you tell me how to start? Because I don't have any idea about that. Actually, I'm outsourcing of that job. I think this is a, a very vague kind of question. You need to look back into what you're going to print, what your customer base is like, and what all the needs are there. And then you study all the technology being offered because at least uh, all of us are talking of different technologies we have. We have Zycon there, we have HP Indigo there, we have... Uh, I mean, Ajay from Domino there, and I'm offering Trojan there, Konica Minolta is there. So we'll all say, by our press and then you'll get it right. But actually, you've got to look yourself. What is what is the capex involved that you can invest? What is your budget? What is your end product? What are the color gamut that you need? What or how you're going to convert it? What kind of finishing you want to do? Then you decide. So you need to talk to all of us. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. No problem. I got it. What you want to say, I can understand. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. What are the te future technology trends and innovations? Yeah. Those will overcome the constraint of printing speed compared to digital and conventional. I think he's asking in digital, what are the trends? See, digital is going faster. We also have an association with Dust, which was at Label Expo running at 80 meters per minute. So if we are talking about speed, it is growing. So eventually it will start matching those kind of, it was running with on and on at 80 meters per minute. So that speed is big enough, right? So there's no constraint on that, it will go. These are technologies that are evolving. And uh, as Rajiv said, as in, all, as in these technologies evolve, the print consumables will come down, the ink cost will come down, the more you produce, the consumables will start becoming more affordable. So it is a matter of evolution. Does the digital label solution offer color management for reprints? Uh, digital machines have color management on, on, on those, uh, on the machines. So they can be used for, uh, not only for reprints, but for, the, for all the jobs or to match any other profile. Is Konica Akurio roll to roll printing? Yes, it's a roll to roll printing and uh, uh, from up to 13 inch width. Generally, when we say labels, it's roll to roll. Otherwise, it's a sheet. It is, it, when we talk of labels, today's concept is roll to roll. How many sheets? 13 by 9 size could be printed using one toner cartridge each of CMYK in Akurio press. I believe so. They are about a sheet fed press. So we have a range of sheet fed press and uh, the toner cartridges depending upon machine to machine model. And it would vary depending upon the coverage area. So we have uh, various widths. So it would be difficult for me to 
vaguely answer on this. So if they can be very specific, I, I can provide the uh, correct answer. But this is one common question that everybody asks when they want to buy a printer. How many prints will it take? <laughs> so based normally, on, uh, without yes. the coverage so, area, it's very normally, difficult. Normally, it depends upon the coverage area. When we talk about uh, Acurio Press series, they start at 5% coverage area. When we talk, they, the machines start from a productivity from around 35,000 sheets uh, if the coverage area is 5% at A4 size. And depending upon the model, it increases and the size of the toner bottle. How easy is it to add label printing into a large format printer setup? Is it advisable? This all depends. This all depends on what they want to do, what what they want to target. If they want to enter into a label printing business, what kind of segments they are uh, targeting, which kind of end customers they would have. And based on all this uh, homework, as Ajit just said, they can talk to all of uh, the suppliers and uh, based on the volume they intend to do, based on the customers uh, they intend to cater, based on the substrates they intend to do, run, do the trials and engage and then take a, a informed decision. Next question is to Mr. Ajay. Where can I send the samples to print for quality check of N610i? Yeah, I have shared my uh, email address and number at the end of the presentation. I can share that. They can connect with me and uh, we can take it further from there. Next question, where can I send the files for small font pharma labels? Yeah, yeah. Again, we can uh, send on my email address. We do that. We have customers who print for pharma and uh, printing small font pharma is not a challenge. You can send it to me also. I have shared my email address. <laughs> there was one question which I think by mistake got deleted. Somebody asked what is debossing? Yeah, yeah. There was a question here. Yeah, there was right. a question. What is yeah, debossing? Yes. I so, thought that too. Yeah. The, uh, by mistake it got deleted. Uh, see, embossing is using uh, male female dyes and it raises the print actually. Debossing, we supply cut and art uh, dyes from Latex Spain. They actually, on a thicker uh, kind of a caliper paper, they actually press the design onto the texture onto the paper. And in uh, in a self adhesive laminate, since it itself is uh, a thicker laminate, so it can deboss and put the texture onto the uh, paper. I had also picked up an image. To show them what embossing and debossing is, uh, is oh, this visible? Okay, okay. okay that's uh, right. Yeah, that's okay, so yeah. Embossing. Embossed. The top is de embossing and the bottom is debossing. Yes, that's yeah. right. So there's a depression and there's one projecting yeah, up. That's right. But uh, I thought they would be asking something more uh, uh, because, okay, they are finishing. Is, uh, there's like, one question that has just now yeah. popped up. Yeah, uh, do customers easily get convinced to buy digital printed labels? Or are they still used to Flexo and they prefer Flexo only? I basically want to know how aware the customers in general are about label. This is Karan Arora. Most of the customers are aware about the digital quality now. And uh, it depends upon the printer also. You should uh, go and uh, have some discussion with your customer, show them the print quality. And uh, like Ramnik, we... Uh, Discuss the topic about the inventory. This is a very important uh, thing you can discuss with your customers. They can order the exact numbers needed. They can save them on their inventory costs also. Uh, I feel this has attracted a lot of customers. And then quality, then you have a lot of things which you can only do on digital, like variable data, variable images. So definitely, like customers are looking towards digital now. And resolution levels have gone up to 1600 yeah. dpi. So it's fairly good. Mm -hmm. um, also, I'd like to add here something that uh, I, when like uh, when I'm going to exhibition and uh, in like Prakriti Madan and stuff, so I saw uh, I saw a huge demand for digital there, but people weren't aware about that. When I like made them aware about that, like this is the concept of digital, and what you've been doing is this. So they said like, why didn't we know about this? And a lot of like. Three four people on the same day had gone to my my company for.
for sampling so like that is the conversion rate also if you like uh, you can actually know it if you go to an exhibition or if you go to a uh, conference or stuff like uh, anything so you'll actually know that people are aware but uh, like a lot of people are not aware about this concept and when they are when they get uh, to know about this they're very much interested to like explore this opportunity the label the label printers who have already installed digital presses all across india are educating their end customers the brand owners about the benefits of digital how ramnik said or how rajiv ji said so it's a printer's responsibility to go and talk to the end customers offer them a different solutions show them different solutions yes the digital printing oems the technology providers are doing their job of educating the print and the brand owners but printers have to go and talk to them about digital rather than just talking about cost and uh, uh, selling the product and cost they should uh, talk about selling on value added uh, terms yeah, i would like to add here you can uh, give solutions don't only uh, look like selling a label so nobody no customer is bothered to buy a label whether it is digital or flexo so you need to sell a solution that will help and uh, yes. it provide a complete solution to your customer and it is within their budgets so definitely yes sorry uh, how much Yeah, this is How to match to... shade of logo artwork from one digital printing machine, from another digital machine, or among flexo versus digital? Um. Uh, so I think that there'll be always a difference between a flexo print and a digital print because we personally have tried doing this that uh shifting the same design to digital, and we uh like. initially tell people like tell our customers before and only that so do not like do not expect the exact same design being printed on that label because there is a slight change like uh, it can be difference of 19 20 but there is a slight change so you cannot expect the uh, same design to be printed on flexo and digital exactly the same i agree with what ramnik is saying but uh, uh, if a customer is looking at a solution again i would say it's it's It it's a, it depends upon how you sell it. Like if you are say if you are selling a complete solution to the customer, he will compromise on these minor things like the shade of logo and all. And I I feel that technology is very advanced now, so we are able to be very close to flex or offset now, and uh, should not be a major problem. Yeah. Uh, I agree to Rajiv in terms of currently the technology provides in terms of in terms of the color management or good solution where. uh the uh, variability between the two processes uh, could be reduced to a maximum to a lot of uh, to a major extent to or or i would say to an acceptable levels where both the technology difference could be matched using uh, the color management solutions available on these different processes uh, we have with us mr aman gupta he wants to ask something mr aman gupta yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to know. Actually, I have a digital printing machine. So when we uh, print on the digital machine, generally it is center printing. Unlike uh, offset printing, when the when we can shift the sheet to one side, so ang uh, right angle is made, the printing is accurate. But in uh, digital printing, it is center printing. Some error of printing is there. So it is very difficult to do uh, further value addition. So what what is the solution for this? What can we do to uh, do this value addition on uh, digital printing sheets? In terms of the value addition, uh, we have uh, MGI technologies, which where we use uh, a different way of uh, registering the sheet. Where sheet to sheet, if there is a difference in sheet to sheet image, we can do a value addition uh, using MGI technology. It comes along with a uh, sensor technology, which automatically. create some some uh, identification marks and uh, adjusts the image or the spot uv or foil matrix matrices okay thank you thank you very much uh, all the panelists first of all i would like to thank mr neeraj neeraj jagga who provided the your contacts and uh, this was possible became possible only due to him so thank you very much uh, all the panelists for your time and uh, definitely our printer will learn something new for me and i would like to thank dr lakshmipriya also for devoting her full time for this seminar and uh, thank you ma'am for your efforts and uh,
definitely yeah, really we, have, we have had more than 150 participants today yeah it was uh, it was uh, i think highest participation was there and that, that and was numerous like, questions also yeah definitely definitely well thank you all the panelists and definitely thank you Mihiji. thank you ajay ji thank you ji thank, thank you very much thank, thank you very much thank, thank you panelists thank you 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 thank you